now. Welcome to Newswatch 12 at 6. I'm Justin Betty. The Northwoods is home to many creative people of all different types. Newswatch 12's Kyle Pazorski introduces us to one business owner in Eagle River who now makes some one of a kind products. Ken Shells is a man, a craftsman, who came from nothing as a kid, but now makes some of the most interesting meadow and wood projects in the area, perhaps even the entire world. Probably nothing qualifies me, just uh, the desire. From a struggling family in his youth to owning his business, Shells has lived a life as a lumberjack turned creative tinkerer. I remember taking my mom's wash machine apart and trying to build a snowmobile with it, you know, so I've always been tinkering, but we got better tools now and a lot more stash. Shells worked hard at his craft, but eventually sold the family business in 2007. Times were tough during that era, however, Shells continued on trying to make a name for himself. My folks incorporated in Eagle River in 1949, so it an, was an old family business, you know, and they worked really hard at it. But uh, I kind of changed things up, you know, with uh, the creative aspect and putting it into something that was reality. Ken says that his personal drive and desire to succeed has been the key to business success, creating custom metal and wood projects thought of from his artistic mind. I say desire makes up a lot of time for talent, you know. Uh, if you really want something bad enough, all the small decisions, and it might take you a little longer to get there, but through persistence, you will get to where you looking at something that you want to look at. He also recognizes that nothing can be taken for granted, especially the people close to him. Very few things are accomplished in this world by yourself, whether it's your wife or your husband or your family or your friends. You know, usually somebody is behind the story. I'm lucky enough that I surround myself with good people and they got my back and we can create some really cool things. Shells hopes that when people see his creations, they'll be inspired to be creative themselves. In Eagle River, Kyle Pazarski, Newswatch 12. Outside, Jeff, you showed us some 80s on the map today. Yeah, mostly back in the 70s now, but we did hit 81 for about 10 minutes this afternoon in Rhinelander, <laughs> uh, and that's just not normal. Tomorrow is October 1st. Uh, right now it's 77 in Rhinelander. Also for areas near Merrill, uh, Wausau, you're at 78 or a high of 82 earlier. So this is not normal, but tomorrow... We'll have temperatures just like this again, followed by some changes on Saturday. And here's the start of those changes. So lots of clear skies over here, but notice your eye goes over there. Those are thunderstorms across parts of Minnesota. That's a cold front coming our way for tomorrow evening and then early parts of Saturday morning. That's going to bring us some thunder showers tomorrow night. Our forecast, though, for tonight, though, is partly cloudy skies. And look at this low temperature near 54. Your full forecast is coming up, Justin. All right, thank you, Jeff. A Weston couple is now charged in the death of their five-year-old daughter. 36-year-old Samitra Stolp faces first-degree reckless homicide and four other charges. Her husband, 40-year-old Jonathan Stolp, is charged with neglecting a child and two other charges. The investigation into the child's death started back in August after the child was brought to an area hospital with a skull fracture and brain bleed. Doctors say she had alcohol and elevated levels of Tylenol in her system. A medical expert said the child suffered trauma to both sides of her head and the injury appears to be non-accidental. They're due back in court in December. Wausau will soon be home to up to 85 refugees staying right now at Fort McCoy in western Wisconsin. And area organizers, churches, even the Wausau mayor are all working to welcome them to the area. First United Methodist Church in Wausau is one of the 20 churches collaborating. They have set up a donation site where they've collected over 80 boxes of clothes that are now in the hands of refugees, or in some that soon will be. Pastor Rebecca Voss says her passion for helping came from the Bible. Well, one thing that's important to understand is it takes more than just the single church that um, we have here. It takes uh, many, many congregations and people, not only of faith, but other community organizations from the region to come together. Pastor Voss reached out to Wausau Mayor Katie Rosenberg to find out if and how Wausau could be a place for refugee resettlement. Mayor Rosenberg says it's important that we welcome people who have different backgrounds because it can help the community work better together. This is part of our moral obligation. Um, you know, we, we, our country has been at war for 20 years in this country, and it, 
it, these people are coming. They've worked alongside of our troops. They've helped keep us safe. Um, this is part of what we do is we make sure that they are safe too. Mayor Rosenberg says she's talked to area businesses and business owners who are excited to welcome more people to the area. Could help with the worker shortage. October marks Domestic Violence Awareness Month and Tri-County Council on Domestic Violence wants to paint Rhinelander purple. Vicki coordinates the domestic violence program at Tri-County. She says after Hannah Miller's murder in June, they hoped more people would reach out looking for help. But she says the culture of abuse often keeps victims trapped. It's unfortunate that we ask, why doesn't she just leave? The question that we should be asking is, why is the abuser abusing? Throughout October, the courthouse will be decorated in purple ribbons, and the dome will have its purple lights added. Tri-County will have purple ribbons you can put up at your home as well, available at their office. They say they really want to make a statement. The thing that I'm really hoping for is that Christopher Anderson is going to be extradited during the month of October, and for him to come to Rhinelander and be like, why is everything purple? And you know, he'd ask somebody, and for someone to say Domestic Violence Awareness Month, that's huge. You can learn all about this month's activities. There's also chalk walk, vigils, art installations all on the Tri-County Council's Facebook page. Walmart is on the hunt for more workers ahead of the holidays. The company says they plan to hire 150,000 new associates for stores across the country. Most will be permanent full-time positions. Walmart has also increased its pay, hoping to attract more employees during their labor shortage. The average hourly wage, the average, is now $16.40 an hour. It's not the minimum, it's the average. Walmart also previously announced it was looking to hire 20,000 additional warehouse employees. Right now, many companies are facing worker shortages, but a lack of truck drivers is leading to supply chain issues and other issues as well. Jennifer Hoff reports. At Allstate, Peterbilt's South St. Paul Repair Shop. In unprecedented, 80 trucks are stuck, left to wait for parts from suppliers scrambling during a global supply chain mess. They can't get the materials. They don't have enough labor to build the parts that go on the truck. So all those things are now kind of happening like a perfect storm. From a resin shortage to build roof caps to vinyl to make seats, even electrical components like this to keep a truck from shutting down, a repair that would take less than a week is now months. Some truckers losing at least $2,000 every day. Their rig isn't on the road. When things are good, it's a, it's a great business to be in and you can make great money, but when you're down, those expenses add up really fast. The challenges don't end there. There's a lack of new trucks to sell and a demand for technicians and drivers. The country down some 60,000 of them. A long-time problem the pandemic made worse. The pool of drivers isn't really growing. The demand for goods is in overdrive for the foreseeable future. Manufacturers playing catch-up since coming back online after the COVID-19 shutdown. The backlog now set to even impact another holiday shopping season. If you're going to that store and you're seeing empty shelves, uh, you know, there's, there's a good chance uh, that a part of that problem is, you know, a truck that's trying to get that, that merchandise to you. Everybody needs to be understanding. Um, there's not much most of us can do about, you know, getting things faster. Jennifer Hoff reporting. Over the years, there have been many ways for folks to grow food for their family year-round. There's also canned food, but we'll take a look at one Northwoods family and how they are doing it in a kind of unique way. But first, Jeff's in with your full forecast next on Newswatch 12 at 6. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. Does your kitchen need a tune-up? We'll turn your kitchen into a space that you'll love. A variety of services to choose from and most projects are completed in one to five days. You'll love your kitchen without spending a fortune. Call Kitchen Tune-Up today. My name's Arthur, Merrill, Wisconsin. In August of 2019, I started getting numbness in my feet. By July, in 2020, my feet were so numb, I lost a sense of balance, I thought I was walking on stilts. I seen this ad for Spinal Aid. I took 20 treatments from them, and, and by then my feet were 90% better and no longer felt as I was walking on stilts. 
Are you experiencing weakness, numbness, and or pain in your feet or hands? These sensations might even be affecting other areas of your body along with your balance. You might have already been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy and are taking drugs such as Lyrica, Gabapentin, or Cymbalta that never seems to help. Neuropathy pain ultimately diminishes your quality of life. Call Spinal Aid of Wausau today to see if our treatment methods are right for you. Call 715-203-1508 to schedule your neuropathy severity consultation or or visit us at SpinalAid.com. We're divided, but we can agree now's the time to help hardworking Wisconsinites, right? Nope, not Ron Johnson. See, on lowering prescription drug prices, Johnson was a no. Adding dental and vision to Medicare? Nah. Or making childcare more affordable to help people get back to work? No way. What about making the rich, like him, pay their fair share in taxes? Heck no. Tell Ron Johnson, time to say yes to building Wisconsin back better. Does your kitchen need a tune-up? We'll turn your kitchen into a space that you'll love. Kitchen Tune-Up, the fast and affordable way to freshen up your favorite room. A variety of services to choose from and most projects completed in one to five days. Call Kitchen Tune-Up today. Last year, it was 54 degrees for a high. The record high is 84, but today we did 81 in Rhinelander with lots of sunshine getting through the clouds out there earlier. Just a gorgeous, well above average day, as you know, and we will do it all over again tomorrow. Right now, it's 77 in Rhinelander. We hit 81 about an hour and a half ago with a calm wind at the airport, and a dew point there. It's getting a little bit more muggy out there up in the upper 50s right now. Over in Wausau, 78 for you. You had a high of 82 earlier with a southeast breeze around six and a dew point there in the upper 50s as well. Around the horn, look at this. This is a map you would normally see probably in late July, but nope, here we are in the last day of September. 84 right now in Glidden, 75 for Medford, yeah, 78 for Wisconsin Rapids. You get what's going on, right? Well above average temperatures today and also tomorrow. Okay, so the average is 63. The average low is 39. We're not going to do that tonight either. Uh, the record low, 21. There's that record high, and the sun will set shortly at 639. Okay, so here we go. Tomorrow, kind of like today, probably a couple degrees colder uh, with some clouds back in the area. 72 for Saturday, and then the cold front comes through. We get back to reality, right? 64 Sunday, 66 on Monday. Lots of signs now, though, beyond this week into next week. We're talking mid-October now uh, with 70s returning. So we'll see. It's a long ways off, but lots of computer models hinting at that right now. Okay, also hinting at thunder showers tomorrow night. So right now we're all good, right? High pressure has been in charge for several days around here, keeping all of that at bay. But notice how it's on the regional radar. It's getting closer and closer and closer. And here's that cold front. Uh, it's been kind of moving slowly, right, from over here on Tuesday, Wednesday, today. And then tomorrow will be just close enough where we get some thunder showers in the area tomorrow evening. Those could mess with the football games tomorrow night because there will be some thunder and lightning in there as well. Uh, so here's the high pressure. It's finally kind of giving way a little bit out there. The pressure is falling outside. That will allow this front to move this direction and timing would suggest right around football time tomorrow night. If not shortly after that front will be in the area that could give us a couple of thunder showers tomorrow evening. Futurecast shows us very well. So here we are tonight into tomorrow. Rain staying to our west, right? But here's tomorrow evening, nine o'clock or so showing some scattered showers across the area. This could contain thunder and lightning as well. Uh, it'll be hit and miss for the football games tomorrow night. Our forecast then for tonight though is lots of clear skies, some dense fog late as the wind has gone calm with low temperatures down, low temperatures down near 54. For tomorrow it's Friday, lots of cloud cover, a bit breezy as well as that front approaches on the southwest, could gust near 20 miles per hour with high temperatures back in the upper 70s again tomorrow. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwest Furniture and Mattress shows tomorrow are quiet and then late tomorrow into Saturday morning, a couple showers and storms out there. We dry out Sunday with cooler temperatures in the 60s for Monday and Tuesday. Justin. Thanks, Jeff. An Armstrong Creek man has found a unique way to provide his family with fresh vegetables year round using plants and fish. News Watch 12's Georgina Fernandez shows us how it works. <laughs> for Scott Good and his family, around 50% of everything they consume comes right from their backyard. Well, I 
we've basically been uh, hunter-gatherers, you'd call it, uh, living off the land. And in June, they added a new addition to their farm-to-table lifestyle. Over here, we have some strawberries that we're working on, and obviously they're, they're doing pretty good. It's called an aquaponic system. Two 3,000-gallon tanks in the ground, and in those tanks we're raising fish. The water from the fish is then pumped up to grow beds where it nourishes the plants and cleans the water so that uh, it's a symbiotic relationship. That dirty water you see right now is being pumped up here to the plants. There, the plants receive the nutrition and bring once again clean water down to the fish, and that cycle just keeps on going. In just the last month and a half, Good says they have doubled the amount of vegetables they would have grown in a more traditional way. Yeah, I was saying, we were most surprised with these cucumbers. We've had uh, such growth on them. Uh, they've blossomed, and we have to actually hand pollinate a lot of these. There's not enough bees in here to do it themselves, but I mean, they're, they're taking, we're getting cucumbers, and here's a good one, ready to pick. The new system would allow them to grow vegetables year-round. And then the growth up here is just tremendous. About two weeks ago, we only had this unit running, and we took half the plants and put them over here once we got this one going, and these just filled in. In this space, he says they could fit an additional 500 pots. Good says he hopes to share his love of others and build systems just like these ones for schools. This will be one of the smaller units when we, if we do go that route to build for science classes and home units, we have a tank that rolls underneath there, could have uh, fresh vegetables and herbs year round. It's News Watch 12's Georgina Fernandez reporting. Social media was a hot topic on Capitol Hill today. We'll take a look at some of the criticism coming from lawmakers, as well as some of the platforms fighting back after the break. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Northwoods Furniture, Eagle River. The Fall Semi-Annual Seal and Sweepstakes is on now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Shop new fall furniture styles at huge discounts up to 60% off. Then get your scratch-off card in store for your chance at specials and bonus deals. You can even win the $5,000 grand prize at Furniture and Appliance Mart. To the dentist! To the dentist! To the dentist! We're off to see the dentist, the most wonderful dentist of all. They are the whiz of all there is that has teeth involved. If ever a because, 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 because of the painless care that causes a buzz. We're off to see the dentist, the most wonderful dentist of all. This is Ford Truck Month. Time to take a ride in the all new 2021 Ford F 150 with an available 12 inch touchscreen an available interior work surface, and for powerful performance on demand, a class-exclusive available Pro Power onboard mobile generator. These are America's best-selling trucks. This is for Truck Month. Inventory levels are coming back up, making Truck Month the time to get an F-150 with 0 for 72 and 1,000 retail order bonus. I'll take a brat. That'll be 10 bucks. Uh, the sign says $8. Oh, that's for first-time fans only, and you were here last Sunday, right? Uh, yeah, and the game before that, I'm a season ticket holder. Oh, in that case, it'll be 12 bucks. What? Remind you of your wireless provider? At Cellcom, new and existing customers get the same great offers. Great deals for everyone. Cellcom, clarity in a cloudy world. One brought, please. $17.50. It's the horns. The White Tail Inn of St. Germain. With a five-star rating by Wedding Wire and winning four consecutive Couples' Choice Awards, your dream wedding becomes a reality at the Whitetail Inn. Welcome to Land O'Lakes, Serenity at the top of Wisconsin. Stay with us at the Gateway Lodge in Land O'Lakes. Relax in our indoor pool, delicious dinners, and the coziest lounge in town. Come back to tradition at the historical Gateway Lodge. The Fall Semi-Annual Seal and Sweepstakes is on now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Shop new fall furniture styles at huge discounts up to 60% off. Then get your scratch-off card in store for your chance at specials and bonus deals. You can even win the $5,000 grand prize at Furniture and Appliance Mart. 
Lawmakers took aim at Facebook this morning on Capitol Hill. They were accusing the company of knowing that its social media platform, Instagram, is dangerous for teen users, especially teen girls, but is doing little to protect them. Jay Gray has details. Scroll it. For hundreds of millions of Americans, it's part of their daily and especially for young users, their hourly social media routine. They know that children struggle with addiction on Instagram. This morning, a bipartisan bashing. They know this. How did they know this? Because they did their own research. Lawmakers citing internal data from a whistleblower and an investigation by the Wall Street Journal that indicates Facebook knows its Instagram internet platform can damage mental health and body image, especially among teenage girls. Many of the teens we spoke to in the reporting of the story described an experience of realizing that the app at times made them feel worse about themselves, but lacking the ability and self-control to put it down. Um, I want to be clear that this research is not a bombshell. It's not causal research. It's in fact just Well, I beg to differ with you, Ms. Davis. Uh, this, this research is a bombshell. The global head of security for Facebook says the data is misleading and is being taken out of context. In fact, it, with this research, we found that more teen girls actually find Instagram helpful. Still, the internet giant has delayed the launch of a platform for kids 13 and under with the whistleblower, an employee at Facebook, expected to testify next week. So Smart in Wausau and Rhinelander is your DIY and fabric headquarters. I love to embroider on my FAF sewing machine from So Smart. I made this beautiful quilt on my FAF creative sewing machine. Shop FAF sewing, quilting and embroidery machines at So Smart in Rhinelander and Wausau. Hi, Bob Pucci for the Take Kid Hunting Foundation. We're having the Anago Gun Show this weekend at the Langley County Fairgrounds on Highway 45. Admission is $6, 14 and under are free. Show hours are Friday from 3 p.m. to 8, Saturday 9 to 5, and Sunday 9 to 3. Straight from the source, Lake Nokoma's Cranberries in Eagle River features award-winning cranberry wines. Visit the gift shop for a wine tasting and browse the large assortment of cranberry-themed products. Marsh tours are offered summer through fall. Visit the website for details. ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop. From pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor. Have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. Trucks, trucks, trucks. Home Furniture and Design has truck after truck arriving daily with loads of Lazy Boy furniture. Come in and find a genuine Lazy Boy recliner, sofa, sectional, or power chair to kick back and relax and take it home with you today. The best recliner available in the world at amazing low prices. And you can pick it out and take it with you today at Home Furniture and Design, West Grand Avenue, Wisconsin Rapids and Post Road in Plover. We want to see your big old fish. Go to WJFW.com, click on Big Old Fish under the Contest tab, and upload a photo of you and your latest catch. Then make sure your friends and family watch News Watch 12 Friday evenings at 6 and 10 and Mondays on News Watch 12 today to see your photo featured on our Big Old Fish segment. Not only do you get to show off your superior fishing skills, you're also entered to win a fish mount from Norling Taxidermy Studio. News Watch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Minocqua. So Smart in Wausau and Rhinelander is your DIY and fabric headquarters. I love my FA 4.2 expression from So Smart. Many of our So Smart customers buy FA passport machines for their travels. So Smart in Rhinelander and Wausau. Well, Jeff, it's the last day of September. Mm -hmm. You would not know that by nope. stepping outside. Uh, yeah, we're confusing lots of animals out there today <laughs> because they're trying to get ready for winter yeah. with temperatures in the 80s. We hit 81 wow. in Rhinelander today, which mm -hmm. is not normal. Look outside now, though. We're hanging back at 77. Okay. 69 in Tomahawk, 74 for Medford. You get the idea. It's a very comfortable, well above average day, and we will do it all over again tomorrow, but there are some changes coming our way. Uh, you see them there to the west. That's a cold front slowly going our direction, but it'll likely hold off any rain until sunset-ish tomorrow evening. That could mess with the football games tomorrow night. 
then it all gets out of here, say, Saturday morning-ish. And then we're cooler Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Highs back in the 60s. We have a big game tomorrow night with Ryan Lander and Moe's and I'm hoping it can work around Hold off that. that be nice. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you for joining us on News Watch 12 at 6. Mr. Foods Test Kitchen and Wheel of Fortune are next.